guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka I've been wanting to try to do a milk cake for the longest time and honestly I don't think I've ever tried it I can imagine it I just think of rasa malai when I think of it but it's totally different but it's just like soaked something I really wanted to do this for Eid and it's literally around the corner and I don't celebrate Eid myself I'm not Muslim but I do want to show some love to all of you that are and celebrating Eid and have been fasting throughout Ram Ramadan so let's just hope I can make this cake it'll be a first for me and hopefully if this turns out well you guys can try this at home it's also known as a tres leche cake it's filled with milk it's just a sponge filled with milk with cream on the top and it just sounds amazing so we're going to be making this today well i'm not going to blabber on too much we'll just go ahead and try this out i will link the recipe video that i am following in the info box um, but i've got some flour this is self-raising got some granulated sugar baking powder and salt butter eight egg whites we've got one and a half cups of milk plain yogurt it says to use sour cream but i literally cannot get sour cream right now so this is what i had and then some vanilla extract i'm gonna get my trusty big bowl out and you just want to sift in your flour first i'm really not good at sifting it always goes over then we're gonna put in our sugar I'm just going to get rid of these big chunks. And then finally our salt and baking powder. And you just want to give this a good mix. Got my blue bowl out now. I'm going to put in my yogurt in here. I'm going to put a big dollop of vanilla essence in there. Not essence, extract, extract. Put our um, whole milk in there. Finally our egg whites. I just want to give this a good mix. Okay, I'm just going to put this to the side. We're going to take our dry ingredients and use our unsalted butter that's at room temperature. And we're just going to take a little bit at a time. I don't want to use my electric whisk because I just feel like it over mixes the flour. Like it over activates it. And then when I... Just from practicing my cakes i just feel like it just ruins it so i'm just gonna try and take my time and do this with a whisk it's not like they had an electric whisk back in the day okay, so then you just want to end up with a really sandy mixture like this so i'm just going to give our liquid a quick mix and then we can slowly start kind of pouring this in and i'm really going to go slow with this Okay, I'm really happy with that consistency. I have my baking tin right here. I put my parchment paper so that we don't have any like thick crusts and you just want it to not stick basically. And we're just going to put this cake batter in. Okay, that's ready. I'm going to put this in my fan oven, which is at 160, 170 degree-ish. And we're going to keep this in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay, wish me luck, guys. Whilst our cake is baking, we are going to make the milk concoction to drench our cake in. Well, pour over our cake, basically. So we're going to first start off with some evaporated milk. A bit annoying that my evaporated milk has some colour to it, but I promise you it is good. We've got some whole milk, condensed milk, and I'm going to put this whole can in. But I'm also going to keep some for my mum because she wanted some. Why is condensed milk so good? Okay, now you just want to give this a really good whisk. Okay, once it's all mixed, I'm going to put that to the side. Now for the cream on top, I actually don't have some of the ingredients mentioned in the recipe. So I'm just going to do my own with the ingredients I have at the moment. I haven't done food shop in ages. So I'm going to do the same cream that I used in my Mauritian Pre d'Amour recipe. Um, and it just involves double cream, sugar and custard. So yeah, you can either do my version or you can do the other version with the mascarpone and whipping cream i'm using double cream so it's a little bit different and i'm pretty sure it tastes different as well but i'm confident this cream will go well with this cake because the cream's really good so for this you're definitely going to need your electric whisk so i've got ice in a bowl and i'm just going to put a bowl in there just to keep it kind of cold so i'm going to be using two 284 
mils of double cream. So you just want to whisk this slowly start, until it starts thickening and slowly add in your sugar. I've got 150 grams of sugar here. Okay, the cream's perfect when you get nice soft peaks like this. So you can totally um, skip this step, but I'm just going to put a little bit, like half a can of custard. So I would say 200 grams and I'm just going to fold this into the cream. But this is really nice and thick. You want a mixture that's going to hold its shape. Oh my god, that's honestly perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this in the fridge again. I'm still waiting for my damn cake to cool. But hopefully it tastes good. Okay, so our cake has cooled down now. I'm just going to cut each side off. Well, just the corners basically. Okay, so now I'm going to try and cut this first layer off. Now you don't have to cut off the crust like I did, I'm just doing it more for like the video but probably if I do remake this I will probably skip this step. But we are definitely going to be nibbling on the corners because it's so good. Okay so now you want to grab a fork and we're just going to do a bunch of holes in our cake. Okay now you want to give your milk mixture a good mix and we're going to pour this gently on our cake. And try to do this slowly. You want to give time for the milk to kind of sink into the cake and not fall off it. So just be patient with this bit. Right now we can grab our cream. I'm just going to put a big dollop. So I actually couldn't find some pistachios in my shop, so I'm just going to be using desiccated coconut that we had. You can totally skip this step if you want and just eat it plain. You can put like crushed almonds or fruit. I don't even have fruit to be honest. Cream looks really good. I just don't know if this is going to taste yummy. Okay, I'm just going to cut a piece out. That looks pretty good to me. Guys, I don't think you realise how late it is. Uh, it's almost like 2am. I was so determined to get this video filmed in time for Eid. This is our beautiful cake. I'm pretty pleased with the way that looks. Okay, it's now taste test time. Very happy with that cake. Definitely more sweeter than I I'm used to, but it's a milky cake, like it's beautiful. I'm so proud of this. Ooh. 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 I'm just eating it all up. Guys, I'm so happy with my cake. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. You guys have probably tried this already, but this was my first time and it tastes really good. It's even better if you leave it in the fridge overnight. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to remove my makeup and take this ponytail down. If you do recreate this cake after watching this video, do tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see your recreations and I'd love that these videos are inspiring you to bake more. And yeah, don't forget to check out the recipe tutorial that I followed in the info box. I do hope that you all have a lovely Eid. Eid Mubarak. That's all I know how to say. Um, and yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. So it is currently the next day. I know I look like crazy. I I slept so late. I finished filming around 2 a.m. Put the cake in the fridge and now I'm, well, I had to wake up early for work, which is fine because I don't have to commute. 
that's why i'm just taking this time to really like focus on filming and stuff but i went down to look at my cake and it is almost gone it looks pretty good but it was definitely a success with everyone in the house my husband doesn't really like wet cakes he really likes drier stuff so he wasn't the biggest fan but he said it did taste nice but I just think he doesn't like the texture, so this cake's not for everyone. It's basically a wet cake, um, but it tastes yummy. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, and um, I'll see you in my next video.